In a world torn by conflict, where two mighty armies faced each other with missiles drawn and guns raised, an unlikely hero emerged, a bright-eyed 13-year-old boy named Theo. With innocence in his heart and bravery in his spirit, he ventured into the no-man's land between the armies. The boy held a simple, handcrafted wooden flute in his hands. Its enchanting tune carried through the air like a whisper of hope, and the soldiers, enemies for so long, paused to listen. As Theo played his flute, the melodies told a story of unity and peace. With each note, the hearts of the soldiers softened, and their war-weary faces began to show glimpses of understanding and compassion. Theo, with unwavering determination, walked closer to the army's leaders. With his gentle eyes and the music as his voice, he bridged the divide that had separated them for generations. The leaders, captivated by the boy's courage and the power of his music, sheathed their weapons and extended a hand of peace. In the presence of a child, they realized the futility of their battle and the importance of unity. As the sun set on that historic day, the armies that had once been enemies joined together as one. The melodies of Theo's flute had disarmed them, not of their strength, but of their desire for conflict. And so, in the heart of the conflict, a 13-year-old boy with a wooden flute had accomplished what no diplomat or general ever could. He had disarmed both armies, inspiring them to unite for a future of peace, hope, and the promise of a better world. The story of Theo's flute would be told for generations, a testament to the transformative power of innocence and the boundless potential for unity in the human spirit.